Hi, Susan Kirsch, and thank you for the report, and thank you for all of the good things that are being done through TAM. Um, in, in, um, I'm here today in part representing COST, the Coalition for Sensible Taxpayers, and want to say that from our talking to a lot of people, there really is not much appetite for continuing taxing policies and taxing planning, which especially when it is a, for a bill that doesn't expire until 2025. And a part of what I want to just convey to you at TAM and to all of you as board members who sit on the TAM board is that there is still concern that TAM in 2011 made the decision to give $8 million to the smart train, even though that was you know, a different source of fund, it was moving money around, but that there was an understanding of voters that money for TAM was really not intended to go for the smart train, but yet there was the decision for $8 million to fund smart. More recently, you make reference to the 2016 survey, which from the public records request shows that that survey had the irregularities of duplicate responses, which you've explained, you've attended to, but there's also evidence that there was specific lobbying for some groups to be more involved in that survey than other groups. So there's a kind of uneasiness in terms of the strategies that were used in that survey. And more recently, we know you rolled out a plan in a, an attempt to raise the sales tax hike and to start moving, having approval to do that now. And with that process too, there was the bureaucratic language where you were putting the item on agendas where it was almost impossible to know what was really being asked, but what you were doing was looking to get support for the sales tax increase. So kind of with that continued theme of what consciousness are we bringing to the work that we're doing for communities and for our neighborhoods, encouraging all of us, all of you as you sit on the TAM board, to be thoughtful when you come forward to consider this, these movements forward and at minimum to be advising about the importance of neutrality and fairness and transparency in whatever kind of survey is proposed to be happening in May or June. And the second part of it is that as you're considering the formation of the expenditure plan advisory committee, that there would be some real thoughtfulness about the proportional representation that's on that committee. So if you say 85% of the uh, respondents what are, are people who are driving, that we're really sure that the Measure A money, in addition to buses and bike paths and, and services for seniors, that it is considering those people who most are looking for relief from congestion and safety issues, that the plan addresses that. Thank you.